in this video we are going to show you how you can repair any lcd that is not working some of lcd are not working not because they are dead but because they have some components that are not working in this case in our case you have to <coughs> sorry you have to we have a phone that is not working so we are going to see together with you what is going now yeah this phone is not is not working there is no image there is no vibration there is no light if you press the power key there is no action but now let, let's check the voltage from the power key if you find the voltage from the power key, it means that the voltage or the current is circulated on the motherboard. Yeah. Now I'm, I I placed the power key. There is no action. There is no change. So when I connect the cable, I see the charging light. Yes, the indicator of charging. Yeah. The phone is not working you know so let me open it and i check it if there is no problem on the motherboard or on the lcd we are going to check everything on the motherboard or in the lcd lcd yeah the display yeah you see that the battery is having enough voltage this voltage can help the phone to power on without any issue. Now I'm checking the short circuit in the motherboard. There is no short circuit. There is no short circuit. There is no full short circuit. Yeah. So to be sure that the uh, that our phone is dead, I have another LCD. I want to check if the if the phone if our phone doesn't have problem of lcd yeah i changed see that i'm changing the lcd in the battery yeah let me power on the phone and see what will happen even now nothing but I didn't check the, the voltage from this battery. Oh, this battery is very, very low. It's very low. Not very, very. It is low. 3.1 can't, can't power on the phone. Yeah. So, this one is having 4.1 voltage. Volt. Yeah. Now, let me use it and the, the switch on the phone. Uh, let's see what will happen <coughs> wow the phone is working our motherboard is working there is no problem on the motherboard yeah so what is left what are we going to do now we are going to check the left parts there we are going to check the lcd the sub board and so on let me open on subboard. Yeah. So let me check. Let me disconnect the subboard. Now I have to to disassemble the LCD. Have to disconnect the LCD from the phone, the from the battery, and so on, and the, the subboard. Yeah. As you see here, I want to, to be sure that our LCD is dead. Yeah, so let's check. Let me check. You have to know that on every LCD, there are components. Some of them are capacitors, resistors, and so on. Yeah, we have to check. Before we check the component, we have to check the the continuity between the backlight and the lcd connector 
in this in our case everything is good there, 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 there is a, a relation between backlight and the connector there is no disconnected the way the ways are okay now it's time to check check the component the resistance diode and the capacitors that are on this lcd yes wow there is one capacitor that is having short circuit oh 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 this capacitor is dead it's having short circuit maybe it is the problem of this lcd so what am i going to do what i'm going to do is to replace it and see what will happen and then i believe that the phone will be working after replacing this capacitor the defected capacitor must be disconnected from this lcd and be and be replaced with the, a new one okay so if you are not subscribed to our channel it's time to do it just subscribe to our channel like share and comment you will be notified every time you upload a new video if you are interested with in this trade interested in mobile phone repair you have to follow us yeah now i want to replace the capacitor the defected capacitor from in a dead, a dead lcd but the capacitor this capacitor is not is working it's good there's no shot so yeah, so let me replace it yeah you see that i have two lcd the one is the full is completely dead the other one we don't know if it is completely or it is half dead <laughs> yeah okay let me check if the the the, the shot is still there or it has gone yeah look at the multimeter okay my friend look at the uh, look at the, the multimeter and then see if the shot is gone wow the shot circuit is gone we we'll see we will we, we get some value we get 0 0.4 yeah 0 0.4 yes after doing after doing anything on the components of the lcd we have to isolate it you have to isolate them so that they will never they they will not cause the problem again while the capacitor was shot was having problem the reason why our lcd was not working so let let's check if our lcd is working or not but i believe that our job is finished let's check let's see what would happen i even connected the, the sub board yeah let me connect the motherboard yeah let me connect it connect it let me switch on the phone you will see the miracle wow <laughs> our mobile phone is now working the hero cd is working 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 yes okay you saw that our hero cd was having the problem because of one capacit so when you are working on the lcd and you see that it is not working you have to check everything every capacity every common component on it sometimes the those components they can they can avoid the phone the, the lcd to work yeah 
let me cross the phone because the job is going to be finished i'm finishing my job yeah you've seen that uh you've seen that uh, the problem was on lcd the reason why the the reason why our phone was not working yeah so remember to subscribe to our channel so that you will never miss any update from our youtube channel gsm tricks updated yes let me show you in another lcd some people would say, some people could say oh it's the same lcd no i have two lcd before one 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 was not working and now i have two working lcd two yes you see all of them are working yeah but the second is working after removing after detecting the problem so don't don't throw away your lcd when it is not uh, full it is not completely the cracked you have to pay attention sometimes components may avoid it to work yes so if you want to learn something about mobile phone repair especially in hardware even software we can can teach you you are welcome and they uh, can help you in every any time contact us yeah okay you've seen that our phone now is working because of because uh, because we repair, we've repaired LCD you've seen that sometimes LCD may avoid the phone to work not because the motherboard is, is dead but because the LCD is not working yeah thank you for watching this video and uh, you are welcome again to our youtube channel bye bye see you in the next video and uh, be sure that you have subscribed have been subscribed to our YouTube channel and uh, verify if you have clicked on the bell so that you will always be notified when we upload a new video